I think every year what strikes me the most are the stories. Are the stories of the kids who come up, who last year this may have not really meant anything for them, or the teachers, or the parents who come to me and say, you know, my grandma has cancer, or I have cancer, or my friend's mom has cancer. And every year there's a deeper realization about how cancer touches so many of us. And every year there's a new story, and because of that a new purpose. It's like a renewing of the purpose. Now you understand, and now we'll get on board to help you help those people who are important to you. Terry Fox really is the, the driving force of today's walk. Uh, you know, 30 years after he abandoned the Marathon of Hope. What goes through your mind? I say to my kids, I, I, when I talk about Terry Fox, and, I, and I, I still am overwhelmed, overwhelmed with what has happened with one young man's dream and his, his chance of risking. He risked, he risked something that may have, he may have fallen flat on his face and nothing happened, but he didn't care. He went ahead of it with it. And when I think of him running 26 miles a day, uh, I don't know where that came from. And I, and I, I think for, for someone who none of us knew, who wasn't alive in our students' lifetime, there are very few, very few role models like that. And very few young people who have achieved so much because of their dream and there, I'm going to do it no matter what anyone says. So be it any part of our lives, we can use Terry Fox, just not for the battle of cancer, but for stepping forward and, and risking and jumping off that cliff without looking. Go for it.